Meghan Markle is now a fully-fledged member of the royal family and will soon bring baby Sussex into the world. But Meghan is linked to royalty in more ways than one, here's how. Meghan Markle, the Duchess of Sussex, is nearing the end of her pregnancy and will soon give birth to her first child with Prince Harry. Meghan and Harry will celebrate their first wedding anniversary in just over a month's time, on May 19. The pair wed in a lavish ceremony in St. George's Chapel and will now celebrate one year of being married with a newborn. As the royal family expands, Meghan joins a list of royal mothers who have given birth over the age of 35, or as the technical term used to dictate as geriatric mothers. According to the Office for National Statistics, ONS, the average age for women to become first-time mums is 28.8. This is on the rise, as the results from a 2017 study are higher than first-time mothers in 2016, where the average age was 28.6. The royal family has a long line of women who chose to have babies later in life and, at 37, Meghan is one of them Queen Elizabeth II gave birth to her youngest son Prince Edward when she was 37 years old. The Queen also broke royal protocol during the birth, as it is said she had Prince Philip in the room whilst she was in labor. Traditionally, the father was not allowed in the delivery suite. Kate, Duchess of Cambridge is another royal geriatric mother who had her third child and youngest son Prince Louis over the age of 35. Kate was 36 years old when Lewis was born on April 23, 2018. Zara Tyndall also gave birth, following her grandmother's footsteps and having her second daughter Lena just after her 37th birthday. Looking back to the 1800s, Queen Victoria had her youngest daughter Princess Beatrice in 1857 when she also was 37 years old. There are risks associated with having a baby later in life according to the NHS. Older mothers have a higher chance of having twins, could take longer to conceive and have an increased risk of complications during birth according to the health service. However, doctors state age does not definitively say whether someone will have a healthy pregnancy or not. Dr. Sarah Kilpatrick, chair of the Department of Obstetrics and Gynecology at Cedars-Sinai Medical Center, told Self in 2016 that a pregnancy is not suddenly dangerous as soon a woman turns 36. She said, we've learned that there is nothing magic about age 35. I would never tell someone that just because she's 35 she has to see a high-risk doctor only if there is something in her history or something that happened during her pregnancy that warrants it. What do you think? Share your thoughts in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe to get instant news update.